The Antarctic sea ice is at mind-blowing lows, alarms experts. I'm going to read more into this on the BBC, guys. This is not good at all. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Reading Elite here with an article from the BBC with the headline that the Antarctic sea ice is at mind blowing low alarms experts. Yeah, the uh, sea ice is uh, at record breaking lows, but obviously the, the, uh, the right wing will tell you that it has nothing to do with climate change, of course. Yeah, I know. Let's read into this, guys. The sea ice surrounding the Antarctic. Antarctic is well below any previous recorded winter level satellite data shows, a worrying new benchmark for a region that once seemed resistant to global warming. It's so far outside anything we've seen, it's almost mind blowing, says Walter Mezger, who monitors sea ice with the National Snow and Ice Data Centre. An unstable Antarctica could have far reaching consequences, polar experts warned. Antarctica's huge ice expansive regulates the planet's temperatures as the white surface reflects the sun's energy back into the atmosphere and also cause the water beneath and near it. Without its ice cooling the planet, Antarctica could transform the Earth's refrigerator into a radiator, experts said. That ice floats on the Antarctic Ocean resurface now measures less than 17 million, million square kilometres, that's 1.5 million square kilometres of sea ice less than, than the September average, as well as below winter record levels. That's an area of missing ice about five times the size of the British Isles. So, this graph I'm going to show you guys here. So, this is the Antarctica sea level, ice lower than usual. This is a daily ice sheet extent in millimeter square meters. Each line represents a year. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, the 2023 one there, as you can see, is much much lower um, than other years um, there as it goes from from the graph there from the bottom so, so from the start of the month to the to the end of the month um, and the uh, sea ice there from 2023 is really 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 low uh, this data is from the national snow and ice data center the nsidc uh, this is where the, the data of that is from guys but as you can see, they're 2023, much, much, much less than other years on there, which is really not good at all. Dr. Melzer is not an optimistic that the sea ice will recover to a significant degree. Scientists are still trying to identify all the factors that have led to this year's low sea ice, but study trends in Antarctica has historically been challenging. In a year when several global heat and ocean temperature records have been broken, some scientists insist that the low sea ice is the measure to pay attention to. We well, can see how much more vulnerable it is, says Dr. Robert Mallet of the University of Matabolia, who is based in the on the Arctic Ar Ar Peninsula. Already braving isolation, extreme cold and powerful winds this year, Thin sea ice has made the teams work even more difficult. There is a risk that it breaks off and drifts out to the sea without with us on it, Dr. Mallet said. Very thin sea, yeah, there's a picture here of very thin sea ice on the on the uh, foreground. This type of sea ice is called Nellis that forms very low uh, in very low wind conditions, this is. Sea ice forms in the continent's winter from March to October before largely melting in the summer and is in part of the interconnected system that also constrains icebergs, land ice and huge ice shells. Floating extensions of land ice jutting out from the coast. Sea ice acts as a protective sleeve for the, for the ice covering the land and prevents the ocean from heating up. Dr Caroline Holmes at the British uh, Antarctic Survey believes that the impacts of the shrinking sea ice may become evident as the season transitions from summer to summer, where there is potentially an unstoppable feedback loop of ice melting. As more sea ice disappears, it exposes dark areas of ocean which absorbs sunlight instead of reflecting it, meaning that the heat's energy is added into the water, which in turn melts more ice. Scientists call this the Ice Alberto effort. This could add a lot more heat to the planet, disrupting Antarctica's usual role of regulating the global temperatures. Um, 
so again guys this is this is uh, winter sea ice is missing in some areas the sea ice concentration this is on September the 14th 2023 here so the so this is September the 14th mediation extent so the dotted line here um, it's not really clear I believe that's what's supposed to be the sea ice there so obviously you have the the Antarctica there and then you have the sea ice here and you can see that that is absolutely according to the white lines it's obviously slowly ebbing away from what it used to be uh, this has been recorded from 1981 to 2010 there um, this is the so this uh, area on the inside this is apparently all the area of missing sea ice here that is slowly not recovering here um, this is also from the National Southern Ice Data Center Center as well guys just in case you want to know where the source of that is are we awakening this giant of antarctica asked professor martin Sengman, a glaciologist at the university of exeter it would be an absolute disaster for the world he said there are signs of what is happen already happening to antarctica ice sheet is a worst case scenario of what was predicted says professor angela hogg an earth scientist at the university of leeds since the 1990s the loss of land ice from antarctica has contributed to 7.2 millimeters uh, to sea level rises. Each modest increases at sea levels can result in dangerously high storm surges that could wipe out coastal communities. A significant amount of land ice was starting to melt. The impacts would be catastrophic for millions of people around the world. We never thought extreme weather events could happen here. A self-contained con continent surrounded by water, Antarctica has its own weather and climate system. Until 2016, Antarctica's winter sea ice had actually been growing in size. But in March 2022, an extreme heat wave hit East Antarctica, pushing temperatures to minus 10 degrees when it should be even closer to minus 50. When I started studying <coughs> the Antarctic 30 years ago, I never thought extreme weather events could happen here, says Professor Sidgen. Sea ice has broken minimum records in summer for three of the past seven years, including February 2023. Some scientists even believe these low uh, ice records may indicate a fundamental change is happening in the continent. A shift in the conditions which have kept the region insulated. And Antarctica's remoteness and shortness of historical information means a lot is still unknown. The region is still wild west in scientific terms, according to Dr. Robbie Mallet. Scientists know how far from how far the sea ice spreads, but but not, for instance, how thick it is. Unlocking that puzzle could gradually change climate models for the region. Uh, they go out uh, every day to measure the sea ice. Dr. Mallet and his team out there. At the scientific base in Rothfried, Dr. Malik is using radar instruments to study uh, sea, thin, sea ice thickness for an international research project called Definite. He and other scientists are still trying to disentangle the causes of vanishing winter ice. There is a chance of that it's a really freaky expression of national ver variability, he said, meaning that losses of natural factors could have been built up and are affecting the region simultaneously. This year, record warm oceans are likely a country contributing factor scientists suggest warm weather will not freeze warm water sorry will not freeze there may also be changes in ocean currents and the winds that drive temperatures in the antarctic the el nero weather phenomenon currently developing in the pacific could be also be a substantially contributing to shrinkage sea ice although it is still weak dr mallet said there are very good reasons to be worried it's potentially a very alarming sign of the antarctic's climate change that hasn't been there for the last 40 years and it's only just emerging now um, this is a, a worrying trend that's happening here when you look at when you look at um, Antarctica and that sea ice um, it's quite quite worrying if, if it's not coming back to the forms that it should be now obviously um, they said the changes didn't really start occurring until around 2016 I believe um, we were reading there um, yeah until 2016 Antarctica's winter sea ice has actually been growing in size so um, but if it's being affected by um, yeah if it's being affected by the by, by global events by mankind's actions um, it's even more of a case where we need to reduce our carbon emissions reduce our Everyone, not just our country, but every country needs to play its part in reducing emissions and reducing anything to keep the temperatures down on the planet because we are, as a species, causing uh, damage to this planet. Obviously, 
and the quicker we act the better but obviously money talks in this day and age and it's clear that um, people are more interested in the money in their pocket than they are about the well-being of the planet and um, these are worrying signs that is for sure guys um, and uh, we should be taking taking these these this information very very seriously you know we want to make sure we don't live on a roasted planet you know I mean there's some temperatures in some parts of the world which are extraordinarily high um, we've had a lot of record breaking already this year and um, it is continuing from the looks of it and we need those record breaking temperatures to stop significantly so we can slow down it and catch our breaths <sighs> well, what do you guys think of this are you surprised by the sea ice levels um, how concerned are you about the current events taking place up there let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of it all like share and subscribe as always thank you very much for watching check out some of my other links down there if you have a moment or two as well It'd be greatly appreciated and i hope to catch you all very very soon